Joey, before we start recording, I want you to look at me in the eye and promise me that you will not, you will not talk about my infertility. All right. Okay, now we can start. Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Chillcast. Um, sorry it took us so long to record, but we finally got everybody together. Um, with me recording today is my good pal Joey. Hi. Um, <laughs> you can call me Joey or Gumworld or Guy Funny Inc., formerly known. I am running for president in 2020 under the Hog Party, a third party <laughs> that is doing pretty well. Um, I like to make YouTube videos on my Gumworld channel, so you should um, subscribe to that or you're going to get doxxed. Oh, that's all I'm going to say about that. <sighs> all right. Uh, and along uh, controlling our soundboard over here is Riken. Renowned gamer, RMS Gamer 511 on Twitch. <laughs> that's his little self promo. That, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. And I don't have a Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> and in front of me is my my uh, veteran friend. Uh, we served in Vietnam together, Graham. I still get flashbacks. <laughs> and that's it. Okay. And that's it. Uh, along with uh, Graham over there. And Trash Boy. Is good old car man 74. <laughs> vroom, what? Vroom. I hate you. <laughs> Go follow Carson Craig underscore 54. No, 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 and he's muted now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and and whoa, we also, we, uh, we breaking news, we also have a special guest and he's on <laughs> Discord with us. Uh, say hello, Johnny. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm in my bed right now. Currently in bed. I'm in, I'm in my bed with Reckon's mother. And Carson's mother. Oh. oh. And Joey's mother. Oh. And mother. Whoa. Cut it out Dang. now. Please don't Johnny's do that ever right again. I'm f***ing all your mamas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, speaking of uh, being in bed with other people's parents, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Let, uh, let's let's have let's let's hash this out, Joey. We talked about this the other day. Yeah. You really that's wanted amazing. you really wanted to have the. Um, Steven Universe debate? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All the way. The Steven Universe. Yes. Oh, look at my Steven Universe debate, dog. I'm going to <laughs> I, lo- <laughs> I, love- I love Steven Universe. All right, so my stance is Steven Universe. It's trash! <laughs> I fucking hate Steven Universe. Fuck it's garbage. You. And I watched every episode of Steven Omniverse. Steven Omniverse. <laughs> Steven Omniverse? Ben yeah, Steven, 10? The Steven Universe. Ben 10. Yes, the Steven. <laughs> yes, I watched all of Steven Universe. I lost a bet. I had to watch every last episode of that god forsaken show. I hate it. I hated it. It was so. It's like they're trying to do. Oh, oh, every. It's hard to explain. It's just they tried to be so preachy and they failed. They failed. Okay. <laughs> there, there's there's this part where they like motherfuckers act like it's a good show just because it talks because it has LGBT representation. Exactly. It does. Exactly. Topic. Exactly. You can like and they did it so poorly. I'm sorry, but they did it so awful. They were like, there was a part where um there's an episode. Yeah. Where okay, so there's Jasper and then there's Lapis, these two characters, and they combine. <laughs> they oh com- no, I don't like that part. They combine, yeah, they fuse to be ca- to make this huge monster, and they I don't know why, but they go to like the ocean or something. They get locked in. Just there gonna say, just gonna say, I thought Garnet was a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. What? They're all lesbians. They're, they're all. They're, all they're literally they're all. Not people. Okay, yeah. Let me set. Let me set the record straight here. They none of them have actual genders. No. They're there women. is no straight record. Women. They're they all gay. They're women. <laughs> exactly. No. He's right. He's right. He's right. They're supposed to. Oh, they have no gender. It's so obvious. They don't. No, they do no, such no, a. They do such, They do such a bad job <laughs> the, the, at doing that. <laughs> oh my this, gosh, Johnny. They do uh, such a I bad mean, job at wrong? doing like non-binary stuff. They do such a terrible <laughs> like. Do they? They do not look non-binary okay, okay, at all. Okay, okay, okay. So your argument, the reason you don't like the show. Um, well, there's many <laughs> factors. There's many factors. Your the story argument, just sucks. You say, first of all, you say okay, ignoring the story. You say it's just bad representation. I hate the show because people tell me that I look like Steven Universe. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> horrible. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, bro, you do. People say you look like Steven I didn't even, Universe. That's... I didn't even think about that until now. That's not funny. People say I look I like fact, Steven Universe too. 
Okay. Listen, for everyone who doesn't know what I look like, I am fat and I have curly fucking hair. <laughs> yeah. I can cosplay in Steven Universe. You could. You it's could. a fucking show. So, it's my goddamn life. First I was being called Johnny Pest because of my fucking name. And now this shit. I thought this was. I said I looked like a good cartoon character. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Right, can, can you turn can you turn Johnny's audio up? Yeah. Actually turn it down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. That was really mean. Anyway. You're mean. So the scene I'm talking about, so they basically fuse, but then any time I encounter a redditor, I get all six tongue. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you know, now that you point Do you think my life is fun? <laughs> I'm going to become the Joker. You already are the Joker. <laughs> I'm gonna become the Joker again. You're gonna become Jared Leto Joker. Pure I'm gonna rage. become Jared Leto Joker. <laughs> There's tears of Joker. There's tears of the Joker. Okay. There's you start. No, at, no. The first Joker is the the first comic Joker who died. Um. <laughs> then there's the one from 1966, and then the one from 1989. The highest tier is woke one. What, however you say stupid name, I don't even know. Walking Phoenix. Walk, oh walking, walking Phoenix. Phoenix. Walking Phoenix. That's, That's such the a... final form of the Joker. Did you call him Obi-Wan? No, and then there's, and <laughs> I then there's woke Heath Ledger. That, that was so embarrassing. And then Jared Leto. <laughs> walking and then Phoenix. Lego Joker. And then Joaquin Phoenix. And your mom, Joker. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. Currently, I'm on the Jack Nicholson stage of the Joker. That's so I'm pretty lie, early so. in. But anyway, of course. As you were saying, Joey? The scene I'm talking about. So they fuse and then they unfuse. But you know what they try to do? They try to make f like alien crystal monsters fusing into a bigger monster. They somehow try to make that a toxic relationship. Ah, that is not <laughs> what it's like. You cannot do that with aliens. Freaking gem oh. aliens fusing to become a bigger alien. I've That's been not in a toxic relationship and we didn't turn into a giant monster. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you fused into a giant monster. Well, I was and shopping then... for the Scott Pilgrim soundtrack at a Barnes and Noble. Johnny, Johnny, are you sure of that? Yes, it happened to me in eighth grade. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so then they're like, oh. I'm being fully serious. This isn't a bit. I was arguing with my fucking. Girl at the time while well, I was at girl. fucking Barnes and Noble. <laughs> that girl at the time? I've been to like five Barnes and Nobles with my girlfriend. It's scary. <laughs> I don't really, have a girlfriend anymore. Specific. I didn't Neither. even know that five Barnes and Nobles existed. Shut up. That's a chain. That's a chain, Carson. What Why are you talking you? about? I hate Carson. It's a in chain. I hate now. Carson. So Jasper's like, Jasper's like, you have to fuse with me, Lapis. It'll be so strong. I'm sorry. It's like, no, I can't do it anymore. I can't do it. I'm standing up to you. I'm, sta I'm pretty sure they even said toxic yeah. relationship in the scene. No. What are no! we? What are what are we? Some kind of toxic even relationship? Even universe has the subtlety of a Zack Snyder movie. What? What? <laughs> Even universe has the subtlety of a fucking Zack Snyder movie. <laughs> and then, and then there's Which the means, songs. For all of you who haven't seen a Zack Snyder movie, no subtlety at all, <laughs> none so at angry. all. Pure I'm rage. not angry. I love Zack Snyder's movie. It's pure rage. <laughs> And then there's musical numbers. There's musical numbers in Steven Universe. Go ahead and hit me if you able. Can you see me? My relationship is stable. And then there's one. Oh, you guys want to hear a musical number? Let me show you how to scratch it. Anyway. Let me show you how to scratch it. Can we get a musical number? Let's do it. 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 Let's he can tell his, and then I will troll him so hard. <laughs> All right. Thank you for the floor. Um, You're welcome. I have to say, I see your side, but what I don't get is what, what bothers you. What, I don't get what bothers you about the, is it, is it the design? Do you think is it the design of the characters that bothers you? Um, that's a that actually is a factor. The design of the characters fucking suck. Yeah, like look at freaking. I could dip my balls in a can of paint, slap it on paper multiple times, and I would come up with better character designs than fucking it's, Steven Universe. No, it's real. Look at Pearl. Look at Pearl and tell me that is good design. Look at Pearl, lesbian. <laughs> there's and then there's a no, no and then there's like a combination between Steven and Amethyst. Pearl looks like the what? Pearl no, looks like of Steven Pearl and another one of the characters. Oh, They're fusing oh, with oh, miners. Oh. One 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 person at a time. One person at a time. So you're telling Fuck! me you're telling me the grown lady fused the miner. 
Yes. <laughs> There's a no. It looks like a Vortigaunt from Half Life Two. That's what it looks like, and it looks terrible. They have He's three arms. One of them's the just show. like hanging to the side. He's going. Oh, we fuse! Wow. <laughs> Dude, Amethyst is so annoying. <laughs> There's a part. All right. Anyway, keep going, Alex. Okay. So, <laughs> my my the point that I was going to make earlier was, I. I, I guess I have to applaud the show for having any kind of representation at all. Yes, the represent, represent, rep, representation is iffy at, at most, but... There are I very love gay people. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I'm you, gay Johnny. and I thought it was bad. That's all I have to say. <laughs> okay, well, again, I get your point. The representation could be better, but I was just kind of thankful that there was... You know, like, where the hell were all the femboys, huh? <laughs> That's true. It's a very true fact. I can see where you're coming where from. Where my though. cat boys and my cat girls? <laughs> but like, that's our entire know. audience. The, the, okay, you <laughs> have to you have to agree with me on this. It very un- the show is a very unique show. Oh yeah, I'll say that. And actually, I think the show could have had potential. I think they just executed it terribly. I think, I think the story had needs a lot of work. Yeah. Well, the thing is, also, I don't like how they just forgive everybody. I know that's, like, a thing that everybody says about the show. I just stabbed your mom. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> exactly. No, no. literally the main villain is Hitler. Sorry <laughs> for committing war crimes. Oh, wait okay. a minute. No, I'm not kidding. The main villain is Hitler. No. So they, the main villain is, like, the leader of this huge intergalactic empire <laughs> where they get, like, defected um, gems. And they, they – in fact, there was a part in the – um. The they, there's like lore, and the lore is that the leaders, for the only reason, be, the only reason they tried destroying Earth, and the only reason because there were some that were not, there's some gems that were bad and defecting, so they decided to just destroy Earth, but they got stopped, I think. They're literally Hitler. They're literally the Nazis. If you, like, put the two together, they are the Nazis, and then they just become good. They just get forgi- be forgiven at the season, at the series yeah, Joey, finale of the main Joey. show. Joey, I, th- I think to add to your point, this storyline is very hard to follow. Thank you. Carson, have you ever watched the show? I, I've watched Have everything. you even? I've watched the whole entire show. Okay. I, 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 it See, pains me to Carson say Carson can vouch for me. And there's like random parts of the show where they just like go to like kindergartens. And it's like these giant like it, holes it, with exactly. where, the, where the gems okay, come okay, from. Okay, I do. I actually. There's, a, there's an episode of Steven Universe where they go to a fucking... Baby Yoda's house. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that yeah, was actually a good episode, that. though. Holy yeah, they, shit, they guys. Have some Baby good Yoda. episodes, but it's kind of like... I actually eh. liked a couple episodes, but only like the goofy, like, filler episodes, to be honest. Okay. Uh, can we can we make a conference? Like don't fondle the mic, please. I've mm. um I've gotten to bring up very little defense. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'll so, shut up for five. I, I'll I, shut up for, for one For minute. those listening who are getting, like, um, painstakingly offended by your guys' points... I'd like to give them some support here. Uh, I, I appreciate I appreciate the art style. I appreciate the music and the work put into the animation. I appreciate that there's a show out there that has some sort of representation at all. Now, I know that's not a good defense, but I'm saying I'm just happy that it exists. I love the first few seasons. I do agree that the Steven Universe, Steven Universe Futures era of the show was kind of garbage because it was too much filler and it was painful to watch. But... I, at best, I'll give the show four stars. That's all I'm gonna say. I, you know, I, I'd have to. Can I give my perspective on Steven Universe as a whole? Uh, what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say this about the entirety of Steven Universe. Um, I know here it comes. This garbage. These motherfucking nuts. <laughs> That's my right. I knew it. I and. Uh, I was gonna say something about it bit my tongue. We should go to a different topic before Johnny has. Okay, to I'm literally the unfunniest person ever walked the planet. <laughs> Pretty right. much. Okay. All right, so we have decided up, Steven Carson. Universe is epic. <laughs> Steven Universe, five, ten stars would go would eat there again. Um, Steven Universe, base or cringe? Keck or cringe? <laughs> cringe. Okay. <laughs> cringe. So cringe. another today seems to be the um, moving on. Today seems to be the episode of. Hot topics because our next topic is pineapple on pizza. Disgusting. Fuck, Fuck that. I've Disgusting. never actually tried it. Why is that even a thing? I mean, I, I understand some people might actually like that, but like. I've never tried ew, it. Ew. Why? 
it kind of feels like eating that is like putting tomato paste on a plate and then pouring some battery acid and like <laughs> freezing <laughs> freezing that and then just digest, digesting that and then sitting in a car for eight hours listening to Pink Floyd and then slowly dying. Dude, you want to? You know what this reminds me of? This just reminded me of Yo, something. Yo, that happened to my friend once. <laughs> I've honestly done that. No, that so happened to my one, buddy Eric. So one time I was at Papa John's, right? I was at Papa John's, you know, like the one near the school, but so I was there and somebody wanted to get the hamburger pizza. And Ugh. it was a lady wanted to get the hamburger oh, pizza. It's not. One at a time. So a lady wanted to get the hamburger pizza and um <laughs> and she, I guess she didn't know that there was gonna be actual hamburger stuff on it. I don't really know. <laughs> hamburger. <it>. Hamburger, <laughs> hamburger. But so she put on the hamburger, hamburger pizza. Sh- and she saw it and she's like, well, why, why is there hamburger stuff on it? It's called a hamburger pizza, ma'am. And then she started like freaking out. She's like, I just want to be a customer of your restaurant. I just want to be a customer. And you are not letting me. And I was just standing there. I, I just want my pizza, dog. I want to be a customer. So they, so they gave oh, her a refund. Oh, look at my pizza, dog. I'm going to jail. <laughs> so, they, um, so they just give her a refund and tell her to go home and... <laughs> And then uh, they killed her. Yeah. <laughs> She's yeah dead she got now. sniped like the moment she left the <laughs> establishment. Don't search her name. Yeah. <laughs> 360 no scope. <gasps> Three, just no Was she scope. bad though? No. Yeah. Like, did her booty jiggle? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's all Johnny's searching for that's in the disgusting. conversation. That is, I don't want to think about that because she was butt ugly. I got it. She had like a no. She had like a giant. That's so mean. She Shout had like the biggest. Venom. Like she had like the it's biggest. Like lady. she had like the biggest mole ever on her cheek. Like it was just so gross. <laughs> Can you Yo, please recite that, the though? full name of the person and she had, were her titties big? Yeah, <laughs> guys, she had like yeah. big Richard, Richard Nixon cheeks. Guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> Richard Nixon. <laughs> Richard <laughs> Nixon. I'm not a crook. I'm not a. Crook. I'm Richard Nixon. <laughs> I just want to be a customer. <laughs> Bro. But I'm gonna dox I'm her. I'm gonna live become the air. Joker. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ready? I'm about to dox her live on air. Ready? Her name is Chandra Jajane. <laughs> 2480. That's her address. Felicia. Her There's no street. There's no. She lives in. She just I'm floats. <laughs> she doesn't live anywhere. She just floats. Baby. <laughs> Stop, please. Baby. <laughs> I actually have some Halloween. Hey, I have questions. a question. Is she? No, no, Riken. I have some Halloween <laughs> topics we can talk about because okay. it's almost spooky time. Okay. I fucking love Halloween. Okay. <laughs> nice. We're going to go around. And what is your most favorite thing about spooky season? We're going to start off with Johnny. Well, so what's my favorite thing about what? Spooky, Halloween. Spooky season. Spooky season. Sorry. About spooky season. Um, easy access to cat ears and skirts. <laughs> Cosplaying as Steven Universe. I bought a pair of cat ears. I knew it. No, you did not. You did not. That, actually, never mind. You probably did. You probably did. No, I did. Hold on. Can you guys see me right now? Wait. I just turned on my camera. Wait, I'll, I'll pull it up on here. Oh, Johnny, put your pants back on before you turn the camera on. <laughs> Yo, Johnny. Wow, he does. He does have cat ears. Cat ears confirmed. Cat ears confirmed. Cat ears confirmed. He does have cat ears. Johnny Gay is real. Johnny Gay is real. Megamind is real. Megamind is real. That's true. Where's Megamind? Who did that? He's dead. Megamind. Next question. Anyway. Next question. No, next next person. Who's next? It's uh, Graham. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my God. Graham, what's your favorite thing? What I like about the spooky season is the scary movie of the movie magic. Bro, you sound like Kermit the Frog. <laughs> scary Shut music up. of the movie magic. <laughs> I like Joey, the movie Joey, magic. What's your favorite Kermit? thing about? My favorite thing is the scary aesthetic. I love. I love uh, Halloween. Yeah. I like the colors. Guys, guys oh, true, true. I gotta go. I'm oh, leaving. He's gotta go. He's gotta head out. My that. time is concluded on this podcast, and my time on Earth. Um, <laughs> he's going I'm to going disappear. To he's going back to his uh, home planet. Snap. Cocktopia. <laughs> no, Johnny died on his way back to his home planet. Cocktopia. <laughs> Cocktopia. Anyway, right, Johnny. Later, bye, Johnny. Bye, Johnny. Bye, Johnny. Bye, Johnny. Bye, guys. Bye, bye. Finally. Oh my God. I hate that guy. I hate that guy. <laughs> I never uh, we're kidding, Johnny. Again. We're kidding, Johnny. We're kidding. We're kidding. We're kidding. Anyway, <laughs> I really like I like the monsters, like the colors, the like the ghouls, the goblins, the skeletons, all of that. I love that. I don't know why. 
That's like my favorite thing. But the real question is, uh, do you like the nor? Yeah. What? <laughs> the what? The what? Say that again. I think the it's the no- nor. The 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 that's the, the noid. noid. The noid, you That's idiot. The noid. That is the noid. You are stupid. You are stupid. The Cut noid. that out. What's your favorite Cut thing? Cut that part out. Shh. What's your favorite thing about spooky season? Well, other than the noid, um, <laughs> I'd have to say the. I guess I'd have to agree with Joey here. Pull in a, a little agree agree motion here. The um the went the fall aesthetics, just the leaves, the colors, uh, yeah. the sun, the sunsets, mm-hmm. and probably getting to get some epic candy. It's spooky season. Also, it's the one time of year that I don't have to shed fur. That is true. <laughs> That's true. I, think I don't have to shed my skin. Alex my is concerned werewolves. Shut up, Carson. No, okay. <laughs> I think my favorite my favorite thing about Halloween is probably hanging out with people, watching movies that are supposed to be scary, but aren't. Yeah, I know. It's so annoying. They're not scary. Oh no! Look out! He's got a he's got a knife. Watch out! Not again. I like candy. <laughs> can I just say, on the topic of scary movies that are not actually scary, can I just say something? Yes. Me and some friends were watching Unfriended 2. <laughs> yeah, I know. Really really good choice of movie, but... Oscar worthy. One of those scary movies like, oh, the deep web. We are everywhere. We are so organized, and we are going to kill you and <laughs> rape you. Like, you. like that stuff about the deep web, you know? Like I mean, the dark web, my bad. Dark but web. That actually brings me to the next topic. What's your favorite scary movie? Unfriended too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have to coming. say, uh, Goosebumps. Uh huh. Goosebumps <laughs> is not a movie. Monster. Oh wait, I, no, I'm it is a movie. I forgot they made a Goosebumps movie. My <laughs> bad. With good old Jack too. Black. That, I, Jack I haven't Black. seen. I haven't seen. Oh wait, no, it. I never watched it. it actually, that gave me nightmares. <laughs> Can I change my vote? It. I think Annabelle's mine. Oof. I w- my dad made me watch that when I was seven, and that was traumatizing. Actually, my yeah, favorite my it. favorite movie is Killjoy. It's this really awful. It's this really awful B movie where it's like a killer clown, and there's one part in the movie where he like the clown gets shot like a billion times, and he goes, <laughs> and then he spits out all the bolts at lightning speed and kills the guy. It's the funniest thing ever. I I, I recommend you all watch that movie. Wait, uh, what about Bloody Mary? Never seen I've, it. I've never seen. That's that. not. I don't think that's a. Is that? Are you sure Never that's a movie? It. I think that's a childhood game you play in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, that's the game. That game that that gave me nightmares when I was like seven. I th- I because because I my friend did it and I was like, oh my god. You have you ever been to the kissing closet? <laughs> no, no. Only at family reunions. <laughs> Understandable. I only play spin the ball at family reunions. Hey, uh, yeah. Where, where that's when it's least awkward. <laughs> speak into the microphone. Carson, speak into yeah, the microphone. Speak Idiot. Microphone. What what state were you born in? Uh, Ob- obviously not Mississippi or uh, sorry Alabama. Probably. Uh, I think <laughs> if I'm if I carry the seven, I think it was like Tokyo or some stuff. Uh, Carson, when you move the mic, grab the top. Okay. No, not that. Grab the cock. <laughs> the triangle. Dude, the arm. <laughs> yeah, the, it's okay. Yeah. So you're not. Your you're not. <laughs> Honestly, though. Um. My favorite Halloween spooky time, uh, spooky ooky pumpkin season movie yeah, yeah. would probably be uh, Peter Griffin, The Early Years. <laughs> That's it's a good movie. Stewie. Wait, no, that one. It's so scary when the glasses go over his nose. <laughs> it's scary. It's, it's so scary when, when, when Peter uh, looks at Brian and says, hey, Brian, do you remember that time we were in a scary movie? <laughs> I remember that. This is actually a family guy, like... I guess direct to TV movie called Stewie Griffin The Untold Story and I thought you were like referencing that and I was like no <laughs> <laughs> Okay next topic what would you Wait like? I didn't say my scary Fine. movie what is your scary movie Killer Clowns from Outer Space That sucks Oh my gosh, right, oh my that gosh. I know exactly what you're talking about <laughs> I know it's hilarious movie. All right cut that out that was really cut cringy that cut that <laughs> out okay. It's my favorite movie Next topic what would you like to go for as Halloween Obvi- Mr. Handline Obviously an Among Us character I'm gonna kill you. Just That's kidding. Oh yeah, cut that out. Um, uh, <laughs> Graham, what about you? I, I, for the past five years, um, I'm gonna be myself again. Yes. I'm gonna go for sobriety this year. <laughs> sexy teen. <laughs> Peter Griffin. Sexy, sexy vampire. Joey, Joey, can you please? <laughs> Peter Griffin can you blow please, up suits. Can you, can you please, can you please, please dress up like Peter Griffin? Come to school. I'm already planning up. on that anyway. So. <laughs> 
Please do. I'm not even kidding. I'm not. I'm not trolling. I'm not like mm-hmm. DDoSing. <laughs> You're not DDoSing. You know, Joey, you could pull off a Bob Ross costume. You could pull off a Bob Ross. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but then he would look like Bob Ross. But if he pulled it off, he'd be nude. <laughs> oh, <laughs> got him. LOL. <laughs> That's not a thing I would want to see. Wait, guys, 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 can we like, um, can we like hop on my segue real quick, please? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, did you hear what happened to uh, Rudy Giuliani? Uh, Trump's Donald Trump's uh, attorney. Did you know Eddie Van Halen died? He was on. He ago? was. He. Yeah, it was. This ago. is a bit of a spoiler for Borat too. Um, <laughs> but I thought it was very funny. You can. Uh, you, I guess you can just skip ahead if you don't want to hear spoilers. But it, <laughs> I've never okay. seen it, so I can't so do that. His attorney. Um, he's actually in the movie, but he didn't know he was. <laughs> he didn't know he was being recorded. So they got one of the act actors. I mean actresses, who are um. The character is 15 <laughs> years old. <laughs> Cut that out. The I'm actress sorry. is 15 years old, right? Well, the character is 15. And she was so... <laughs> oh my God. She was so... She was like pretending to like interview him for like a fake interview. And he puts his hands in his pants. <laughs> allegedly starts Don't masturbating. It, I'm not kidding. <laughs> it's on Twitter right now. That's how I figured out about this. <laughs> Speak your hands out of your pants. Cuties audition. Not be in like hand, idiot. No, and then and then anymore. and then like apparently Borat like comes out of the closet and says, oh, "She's 15," and then he <laughs> runs out of the room. <laughs> I'm not kidding about any of that. I swear. That's kind of funny. That's C- it's insane. I Cuties I just think that's really Cuties funny. Like you can like- you can support whoever you want, but that is very funny. I love that. I love that I love so that. much. That is so hot. Oh my. <laughs> Whoa, chill out there, buddy. Whoa. Can we talk about the Pence fly fiasco? No. no. Okay, skip. <laughs> <laughs> How about we talk about what your favorite candy is? Kool Aid. <laughs> Who do you kin? <laughs> Who are you kin to? Who do you kin? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you kin? Graham, what's your favorite candy? The Joker. I kin the Joker. <laughs> I'm so insane. I'm like I'm like if Peter Griffin and the Joker met, 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 met. <laughs> What's your favorite candy, Graham? Foam Square. Do you guys like Joker 2019? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Great movie. It's a good movie. Joey, what's your favorite candy? <laughs> um Maybe like uh Snickers. I don't actually know. Maybe like nerds or something like that. Carson, Warhead. what's your favorite candy? I'm going to have to go with Butterfingers. That's a solid, Disgusting. like... Mm. They're not bad. Butterfinger. Everybody is, like, such against Butterfingers. Like okay, I'll, let me tell you why. It's probably the nicotine. Uh, <laughs> yeah. that, that's what gets yeah, me. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no. The crack cocaine infused with the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> why? How else do you think it sticks so well to your teeth? That's that's the cocaine. Uh, actually, I actually have a story. Last year, I opened up my... um. My little Twix thing I got from some neighbor, and yeah. I opened it up, and a full, uh, full backhoe came out of it. A what? You know, like those excavator things with the little bucket on the end. So like a razor. Like a full sized excavator came out of my chocolate <laughs> bar. <laughs> That's dangerous. You gotta watch out, kids. You, you might get uh, shot. Leonardo, you might get Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio in your Twix bar. Now that would make you me quick. What an end well. <laughs> See, I'm trying to remember because I remember one time me and you went trick or treating and you started like promoting Epstein. Yeah, I was just like Robert Downey Jr. And you were like holding up a sign saying I love Epstein. I don't I don't remember. He was saying why like Epstein was innocent. He was like and he was and he was, and he was saying like Pizza Gate. He was like, Well, if you look into Pizza Gate, you know, it kind of makes a lot of sense if you really think about it for a minute. That reminds me of that one gum world video that I watched. I hate that guy. I hate that at YouTuber. He's kind of weird. YouTuber, that guy's so annoying. Carson is like making rude gestures <laughs> to me. Stop. What, what is it, Carson? Oh, I just wanted to know if uh, if I could ask a question to everybody. What's the question? Sure, this is chaos right now. So <laughs> go ahead. So what's ever er, swinging back to this Sorry. week, this general time period? What's everybody doing this weekend? Um, marching band. Marching band, nice. How about you, Alex? Allegedly, getting divorced. I do that. Oh, that's <laughs> that's pretty hard. I'm sorry. That's what I did last weekend. Oh, yeah. Divorce buddies. High five, divorce buddies. I was there when he got yeah, a divorce. What was, or what's the story? 
So let's just say uh, cocktail drinks and hev- heavy packages of cocaine do not mix. It doesn't. I hate Brenda. <laughs> uh, long story short, she is keeping the kids. <laughs> but I get I get uh, little juniors college fund, so I'm going to Vegas. <laughs> Can't wait for that. Nice. How about you, Joey? What you up to this weekend? Um, I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna be running my uh, website ebombsworld.com where I post dank memes, funny videos, um, and other stuff like that. So uh, if you want to check out ebombsworld.com, uh, feel free to do so. It'll be in the link below. No, it won't. It will be. <laughs> it it won't. It might be. So let's kind of. a, let, let's address the elephant in the room here. We know. Oh, wait. Graham never got to answer. Yeah, w- yeah. What's your, I forgot what the question was, but yeah. Uh, I what lost the like kids, so a bucket of ice cream. He will be doing a bucket of ice cream this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Is what you're saying. Uh, my, 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 my voice is just off the charts today. I can't laugh properly. Good. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> hey, what were you saying? Yeah, go on, Alex. Uh, the, uh, it's just, you know, this has been weighing on my mind for a while, and I just want to get this out there. Yeah. Um, anything. Anything for you, Alex. Right, Riken? I'm, I'm sorry to bring this up. I know this is kind of a hard topic for you. <laughs> okay. But we need to address this. It's the, um, it's, it's the um, smoking problem. I thought you were going to say something else. Huh? <laughs> the, uh, the... Smoking problem. Riken, you're not you're not supposed to be smoking in here. He's <laughs> <laughs> right. been exposed. It's okay. You you've been doing good so far, but I don't know why today you decided to break out uh, the ten pack cigarettes. Like this is not n- like, the place nor time to do that. And honestly, we've talked to you. Nicotine is just not good for like you. They sa- for your like they said, like he said, that recording here was a privilege, and you're smoking in here. <laughs> We're gonna get in trouble. So okay, I'm gonna hand you. A box. I want you to put all of your nicotine products. That includes the e-vape. And then we can continue recording. Do you promise to do that? Are you even paying attention? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will do what he said. Right, he just popped up from his phone like, oh, yeah. Calling what's, what's going on? Uber Eats commercial. I Very love nice that. product. Can I share something I with the group? Can I commercial. share something with the group? I actually love that Uber Eats commercial. My be like. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that's all from uh, right Reckon's phone. Out. Actually, uh, wait, maybe that's that's why he smokes. It makes his life feel like ooh ah. It makes his life go. Ooh, literally, ah. nobody heard that. Literally, you had your microphone like <laughs> literally away, facing away from you. Yeah, no, this your thing. microphone kind of sounded like this. It's okay. It's supposed to sound like this. Hey, Peter. Very nice. Hey, Peter, give me a bucket of gray. <laughs> Can you get away from me and my child? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> this is indeed. This is the McDonald's playground. <laughs> well, well, oh, I met Jeffrey Epstein there once. <laughs> he was in the ball pit. <laughs> Bro, he had a I'd imagine on. he'd be at Chuck E. Cheese in the ball pit. Yeah, but he'd ask people for a massage at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. Chuck E. Cheese. Can we get a can we get a moment of silence for Chuck E. Cheese shutting down? No. How do I always get a massage? Is that happening? My that's not cheese. happening. That's yeah, not you're happening. Lying. Unfortunately. You're lying. That's not happening. That's the not whole, happening. The, you're like, gaslighting I, me right now. No. There are okay. some I, that are I'll look st- it up. Chuck E. Cheese is not closing down. Look, there are I some that are right staying there. open, but there is uh the the whole fr- like line or franchise is shutting down. They There's just re- they just they just rebranded the entire like all of the commercials are the all of the resources. They just rebranded. Why would they be why would they be closing down right now? I have no clue. That feels like a bad move to me. Like all way too many machines. Because think about this. Uh, they have a market for children, but also a bunch of high schoolers out of like nostalgia are going back. Right yeah. here, right here on Google. I type in uh, Chuck E. Cheese closing down. Google. All right. That doesn't it says San Francisco. Just a day after Chuck E. Cheese E. Uh, <laughs> what? Cheesy's parents' <laughs> company so filled by bankruptcy. The in- in- <laughs> Chuck E. It's because Shane Dawson, a full-grown man, went into a Chuck E. Cheese and saw the pizzas and he's like, oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, my. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Charles Entertainment Cheese. (laughs) That's That's the company? Not. No, that's his his full name. 
Are you freaking serious? Entertainment? No. Okay, I'm glad I'm it's going bankrupt. Completely now. serious. His last name is Cheese. Charles Entertainment Cheese. <laughs> That's not a man's name. I'm glad he's going bankrupt now. <laughs> Nor is Jeffrey Epstein, he but we don't talk about that. He hasn't paid taxes till tw- since 2016. So. That might be why he's going. That to explains it. It's shutting him down. That will do it. That will do it. So I, I brought this uh, idea to you guys, but what if like Barack Obama um, tried running again for president, but like he he showed up at a camp at a debate with like a fake mustache and glasses, and he's like, "Hey guys, uh, running for president, new candidate, uh, Iraq Obama." <laughs> That's his name. And then he like he, he like Iraq talked about Obama. He campaigned for the same <laughs> things, and like he got elected, and that's the world we live in. Cousin to Barack Obama, correct? Obama. Twice removed. Yeah. Then after then after that Obama. term, he'd run again as Schmalak Oba. Schmalak Oba. No, that after that term, he'd run as Ronald Reagan. Stop. He, I, changed, he literally I, changed his name to Ronald Reagan. I love. Um, Not a bad can name. I just point out uh, Ronald Reagan? I mean, everybody already knows that, but I love that he was, he, you know, he's a celebrity actor. Yeah. And he did like, he's like, he was like a, he was like an actor for movies. I just love how somebody who ran the United States was also in a movie called Bedtime for Bonzo featuring a gorilla. It's a <laughs> Donald monkey. Or a chimpanzee. It's a monkey. I don't really, a monkey. Donald Trump to- told Kevin where the lobby was. Monkey. Okay, but that's nothing compared to Bedtime for Bonzo, so. Joey, it's to the time of the show where we want to hear one of your hypotheticals. Can you please bring yeah. us a nice hypothetical? Please oh, elaborate. Dear. I was thinking about God. it today, and I I got one. So, so you're in your room, right? You're you're uh <laughs> you're on a you're playing you're playing a you're playing some Super Mario <laughs> Run on your phone. You got your you got your one up mushroom T shirt on. You have your cat ear headphones. You got you got uh, some orange juice in one hand. You got some celery and sticks in the other hand. You're you're in gamer mode. And your name is Johnny. Yes. You're in you're in gamer <laughs> mode and but Grim suddenly you dying. hear you hear something from your window. Uh, <laughs> something suddenly the president of the United States, Donald Trump, <laughs> crashes through your <laughs> crashes through your window. <laughs> charred and burnt. I, <laughs> dead. <laughs> His last words are Take this. <laughs> And he gives you a little piece of paper, and it says, <laughs> "It says, it says, QAnon is real." And you're like, "Oh my god, what just happened?" So you look at the, you're like freaking out. You're like, "Oh my god, what? Oh, what, what's the first thing you would do?" Well, I mean, first of all, I'd like to address the fact that his hair is very aerodynamic, so <laughs> helps build velocity with him crashing through your window. Would you would you like go look at the news to like see if anything insane happened? <laughs> no, reported I would, meteor crashing through her. Personally, surface. personally, I would call Charles Entertainment Cheese for backup. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I I call uh, the owner of uh, Toys R Us. Yo, check out my burnt president. I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail. <laughs> I'm going to jail. So you you go to the news and you realize, oh my god, the debate was going on. I didn't even realize. <laughs> so there's a clip, right? And it's like. Just him climbing into ca- no, uh, like no, 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 a no. circus Donald, cannon so and shooting himself no, out that's of the not, debate. That's not the lore. Joey, but Joey's the hypothetical man here. So, <laughs> so, so he's he's uh debating against Joe Biden. He's debating against Joe Biden, and Joe Biden's like, blah, 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 and Trump's like, nah, 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 nah. and um, <laughs> so they're debating, frankly, and but suddenly, out of literally nowhere. Trump just spontaneously gets flung across the room at like light speed, at like such a fast speed. He's just gone. He goes, just like he that. crashes through the wall all the way to um, where you live, all the way to your house, yeah. and crashes through the window with literally zero explanation whatsoever. I personally would like to hear another Joey hypothetical. <laughs> okay, I have another one. Okay. So Donald Trump is on Fox and Friends, right? And he's he like he was like making fun of slow Joe Biden, that idiot. Um <laughs> and he's making fun of Joe Biden on and he's like laughing. Ha <laughs> his smile slowly melts away he, into a frown. <laughs> his eyes roll back into his head. He falls, he starts falling down. He falls off his chair and he falls through the floor of the studio and he he falls into the he falls through the crust of the earth, through the mantle and into the core, where he explodes the core and plunges us into an irreversible ice age. What would you do? 
So I'd be, I'd pretty much an app. I'd be frozen. Yeah. I'd, I'd be frozen in ice. I couldn't do anything. Well, what would you do though? <laughs> what if he, what if he just, what if cry. he just devolved into a monkey? I'd probably cry a little. <laughs> would he still have the haircut? No. <laughs> He's just a monkey now. Yeah. Monkey. No. Monkey. You know what? Monkeys are good. We'll just leave it at that. Monkey. Any that, other hypotheticals they, not they, with politics in it? They call him the monkey in chief, and everyone laughs really hard. <laughs> Please really never hard. do that again. Um. Any other hypotheticals without politics? All my, all the ones I thought of were about Donald Trump. What about, uh, what about, what about the one you sh- shared with me about Tarantino? <laughs> that one's that one's sh- that one's not appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> um uh let me think talk about something else i'll think I'll yeah okay thinking. so jo- while joey's in his thought Vinoid. corner uh i'll bring i'll bring a. uh I'll, I'll gather you guys up around this campfire here that i just lit and we'll we'll discuss some the studio is topics. on fire it is the city it's on fire um so what do you guys think of this new dark age of dc that's coming up Wait, what? DC what? Comics. They're, you notice how their movies are gearing towards a darker, more mature audience yeah, now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you guys excited for this? Are you guys excited for this? Yes. Or are you guys the like... The Joker was amazing. I don't watch DC movies. Not oh, that much. Your, that, that's your first problem. So. <laughs> but honestly, I think with the success of the Joker and the probable success of the Batman, I think we have a good future. I think DC has a good future. The Batman. The Batman. The Batman. The Batman. The Man Bat. Joker. The Membrane. Mitochondria. Powerhouse of the Cell. <gasps> Powerhouse of the Cell! <laughs> My favorite. That's the only thing I learned in elementary school. Who was Ashes of Dragons and why the do they want to The nucleus is the brain. The nucleus is the brain. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what I was thinking. It's the control center. Control the nucleus center. is the control center of the cell. You done? Who is this? <laughs> It was what? Right, can, you, can you call someone in? Just random. I can call someone in. Just call someone in. I can call Shaden in. No, oh, God. Call, call somebody in and don't give them context, okay? I want to I wanna talk to them directly. Oh, oh, all right, all right, all right. We're gonna don't, call no someone. one speak. I want to talk gonna, to them directly. I'm going to okay. all of our mics, and you're going to talk to someone. You, you Are you call actually calling Shaden? We'll, we'll call we can call Shaden. We'll don't call, call Shaden. We'll call, this, we'll call this segment of the show Alex Interviews. I could call Michael Burns. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to call Michael Burns? Sure. I'll call Michael Burns. Happy. No, mute, mute, mute his mic. Mute, mute Carson's no. mic. Oh my gosh, is it ringing? <laughs>